Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Nikki's Notes. National Philanthropy Day, a day for philanthropy, for volunteering and for giving, is right around the corner. This year is going to be even bigger and better than ever. And here to tell us a little bit about that is AFP President and CEO, Andrew Watt. Thanks for joining us, Andrew. That's always a great pleasure, Nikki. Tell us, you've gone through many National Philanthropy Days at this point. Tell us what you're most excited about for this year. Well, for me, National Philanthropy Day is about community. We've always celebrated it in our own communities. And for the first time, we're creating, if you like, a global community for National Philanthropy Day through this November the 15th. It's very exciting. It is. We, I, as you all know, we've, we've had tons of celebrations around the world. Last year, we had over 100 celebrations amongst chapters and organizations. But this year, AFP headquarters is also celebrating. So tell us a little bit about how we're celebrating this year. What we're doing is we're bringing together the honorees here for the first time in Washington, D.C., and we're allowing them, allowing the wrong word, we're, we're giving them the opportunity to share what they do with a broad national and international audience. Um, national Philanthropy Day has been declared a national day in Canada now, um, and it's celebrated across North America. So let's make a platform for that. Let's make a platform that allows us to communicate the power of those stories and create a network of people who we have honoured who can then go on to share the word with their communities. Yeah, absolutely. We're really excited to have our own celebration, get in the spirit this year. It is on a Saturday, so it makes it a little easier to gather everybody together and really celebrate all of the achievements that our honorees have done, that all of the honorees have done. And speaking of all of the honorees and all of the philanthropists out there, everybody that's doing everything awesome, how can they get involved with National Philanthropy Day, the entire community? So we recognize that philanthropy is something that's just part of the DNA, it's hardwired into all of our communities, and that taking it down to five or six individuals really doesn't reflect the sheer richness and depth and breadth of philanthropy in our countries. So what we're hoping to do is run, if you like, the Philanthropic Idol campaign, Philanthropy Idol campaign. This is a good one, I think, because what it does, it allows everybody to talk about the heroes in their own communities. Um, what we're asking all of you to do is create a video selfie. Uh, if you're me, you might find that a little bit daunting, but I know <laughs> that all of you will not. And to submit that to the, to the competition for voting. And then as we get closer to National Philanthropy Day, and Nikki can provide us with the hard dates on this, um, we will be voting on those videos. Uh, so a lot depends on your skills, your talent, but above all, your passion for these people, these individuals, these heroes in your communities, and sharing that with all of us, because that will allow us to really create a sense of the extraordinary scale and inc extraordinary difference that philanthropy makes in North America and around the world. I think that scale is a perfect word because you don't realize that the person sitting next to you, your mom, your coach, your friend, anybody is a philanthropist and anybody can be a mentor and be a philanthropy hero, a philanthropic idol, if you will. So we do want you to complete these selfie videos and turn them in. You can go to npdlove.com for more information on that. We'll be collecting videos throughout September. The voting will be throughout October. And then the top five voted videos will be given $500 towards their favorite charity given in their name. So really exciting. We can't wait to see all of the videos because we know you'll all be submitting. But getting back to National Plan every day. It's kind of seen as the kickoff of the whole giving season. So tell us about the giving season as a whole. Absolutely. Well, I don't need to tell you guys about the giving season. I mean, <laughs> run up to the end of the year to the holiday season is one of the most critical periods for philanthropy in North America. It's when we see the bulk of our individual donations coming in. So not surprisingly, there's a huge amount of focus. National Philanthropy Day is one of the things that we're hoping to use to really create public awareness of the need for that investment and the extraordinary change it makes in our communities. But another initiative that many of you will be familiar with is Giving Tuesday. And our friend Henry Timms, who's, who's really spearled that initiative, has created a viral awareness of what it means to give. Not so much philanthropy, but what it means to give. And Giving Tuesday is on December the... Third third this yes. year. So that really creates a great space. I love this time of year because I think it, will, it take, makes all of us reflect on who we are and what we do. And um, National Philanthropy Day and Giving Tuesday between them 
managed to help formalize that. Yep, and I'm sorry, that was actually on December 2nd. That was my mistake. But Andrew is right. We kick off National Philanthropy Day honoring all the philanthropists. We tie right into Giving Tuesday on December 2nd, not 3rd, and give back to all of these incredible causes, all of these things that we are honoring on National Philanthropy Day. So we do hope you all will tune in and celebrate this year. Send us your selfies. Go to npdlove.com for more information on that and to submit. Thank you for being here with us and sharing all of this with us. No, thank you. And thank all of you as well, because um, National Philanthropy Day is about all of us and the impact that we can have. So thank you in advance for what you're doing and thank you for what you've done. Absolutely. Thank you all so much.